Today's podcast is brought to you by Gaston Luger, a Swedish designed lifestyle backpack. Go to www.gastonluga.com, use promo code DNC15 for 15% off your total purchase as well as free shipping. That's www.gastonluga.com. www.gastonluga.com. Peace. Kongsi Faca ya. Ah you never celebrate Chinese New Year, boy. <laughs> Have you guys already done any podcast before? Or you guys know what a podcast is? Ah uh, I don't know lah but I know the pot you know the the chocolate pot. Ah uh, uh, that, that one, one I like. Ah uh, uh, that one with caramel inside. That time my uh, my daughter she go to Australia she got buy the pot lah. The pot the one only I know the podcast I don't know lah. Ah uh, uh. I know casting spell on people lah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Podcast I don't know. And here with me is Hafiz and Zuairi. We are at podcast number 20. Right, I've earned my my big two. We are at number 20 and How app is it that I have two guests with me? This is the first time I'm doing a podcast with two guests. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> You've won yourself. Two people. <laughs> two people. The deeper voice is Hafiz and the... The irritating <laughs> voice is mine. <laughs> so I, re- I didn't say yeah. I didn't say. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, the reason why my voice is deep is because I just recovered from a fever. So. I like to not tap jantan, je, you all. Not <laughs> <laughs> to be so manly and all. Co- copy jantan. <coughs> yeah, really lah. I'm not feeling well lah. Okay, but okay. Let's start from the beginning. Mm. Okay. The channel is called Lepak One Corner. Yes. Right. So what initiated you guys to do the channel itself? I'll tell you that before I came here. Mm. I was like brushing my teeth. Then my mom asked me, "Who are you doing podcast with? Is it the two Machi Machi on YouTube?" I said, "Yeah, they are." So apparently, you guys are actually well known amongst the uh, mother, the, moms, uh, yeah, yes, the mom yes. community. I think, I think the one thing that sets apart Lepak One Corner from other uh, YouTube channels is the fact that it's so interesting. The fact that it's on YouTube, you see, it's very youngish medium of media. And yet we have a lot of nenes and machis, you know, who watch us. You know, so basically the people who watch us, the demographics range from the age of six to sixty. You see, so there's no limitations in that sense. So anyone who's six or anyone who's sixty can enjoy um, our brand of humor and, and and the things that we put up on social media, which is which is quite fortunate, lah. You know. Mm. Initially it was you, right? It was like son of a peach. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So son and of then, a peach. And then you correct, came, correct. came along in the yes, bandwagon. Yes. Ah, that one I think is better if he gonna tell you lah the story <laughs> about Lepak Ong Corner. <laughs> But we have been friends since secondary school, and whatever you see on videos and our on Instagram, like how we interact with each other, it's exact like how we usually interact lah in in real life. Because like I think we've been friends for 13 years, wait. Right. More, 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 more than 20 years. So I think we are 15, very, 16 years. very comfortable. We're not that young, you know, Zaheri. Yeah, we know all uh, each other's flaws. Yeah, we even uh, had a shower together <laughs> and uh, so, okay, no, flower bath tub together. Fun fact, okay. So we were doing this Air Asia travel log. All right. So what happened <laughs> was, for some weird reason, the organizer decided that they were going to book us for a couple's spa treatment. <laughs> So we went into this room, and this lady like smiled at the two of us, and then we were told, "Oh, there was nothing wrong." And then what happened was after the massage, she told us, "Why don't you go have a shower?" And guess what, Farikin, they had a shower bathtub filled with rose petals for us because yeah. it was apparently like a, oh, and it's milk. It was apparently a honeymoon, like a newlywed kind of <laughs> Mandi shower Mandi that, Mandi that Mandi they booked for us. And then so it's just me and Zuri like staring at each other in the bathtub, like. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> But I think we've been friends for that long lah, so we are not really that awkward lah. So so basically, like when I was starting, I was working with Asgag. I was the content writer for them because I think they were trying to get more Malay-centric jokes on board. Because I think before that they were doing a lot of Chinese jokes. So they they called me up and then they say would would you like to join the team? And I did. And then they had a YouTube channel which they felt was underutilized. So they said, "Can you do something to get us up and coming? Because we want to get into the whole YouTube scene pretty much early on during the whole S Gag thing, lah." So I did it, and after that, by the third episode, I told myself, "I'm bored. I need to do this with someone else." You see, because there's only so much things that I can do by myself. So after that, my first choice was Zuhairi because I know that number one. At that point of time, he was also trying to do something online with with his, with his own YouTube channel, and I thought, you know what, let's just do this together and see how it goes. So the first episode of Lipat One Corner, which featured Mak Tema, was episode number three. This was this was in season one, and then the rest is history, lah. You know, so I think the response was really great, and I think the dynamics between the both of us really works. So 
Yeah. Which episode was it that really put you guys on the map? Like in terms of the Singapore YouTube scene. Oh God, I don't know if there is a specific video. Was that, that the High Raya one? Or the Pasar one? Ramadan one? I think so. Because there's a few videos. Our that rise was to in the gradual, public knowledge is quite gradual. Yeah, mm. it was bit by bit. Yeah, correct. I think it started off with. There was no like viral video that. It came later. Yeah, the viral videos yeah. uh, weirdly they came later. But yeah. for the start, I think uh, there's a few videos. I think I remember it was the the Ramadan Malay video, Malay Mothers, Malay Mothers, where but it was shared by Malaysian portal, our website, and then from there, like we managed to gain a lot of followers. Yeah, from Malaysia. Yeah, so. so ours was very girl, and 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 we were quite lucky because it gave us time to think about what we wanted to present. Because I always tell Zuhairi like whatever happens, right. We cannot be very um, lazy and complacent with our content, you know, because at the end of the day, content is king. And I think you can only do a lot of dub smash. You can only do a lot of voiceovers. You can only do a lot of parodies before people want to they want something see fresh. something else. They want to see something original, something that you can do, you know. And I think we're quite lucky because from the start we have done parodies and we have done dub smash and we have done everything that everyone has done. But at the same time, we are always putting out new content. Yeah, keeping so things fresh, lah. Like, yeah, correct, correct. Okay. Do you guys remember the first time you guys met? Yeah, are you guys classmates or something? Oh, God. oh we, we are not. We were schoolmates. We, we were schoolmates. It was, it was Basam Layu. But we la. met, uh, yeah, during Basam Layu class. Okay. Yeah. And I uh, think the, the the part where it made us stronger was because we uh, took part in a competition. It was a Saja competition. Yeah. yeah. Y- you guys have been in the YouTube scene for how long? Oh God, about four years. Four, four, four years. Four, four years. years. Yeah. Okay. But you guys are not in the. YouTube click per se, like mm. you know, there's oh you realize that? <laughs> yeah, there's, I mean know, that's a very good question. Yeah, this 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 is the question that I've been wanting to ask. There's like you know, Dikosh, mm. Night Hour mm. Cinematics, Shashe, Muna Hirzi, uh, you know so and so. So mm. list the list goes on. So but yeah, but oh, I, 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 that's I, a very have you, have good you, Thanks for putting us in the spot. Okay. Okay. Have you guys not been approached to you know come together? Oh no 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 together? no. We we have we have done we have done videos with Munahirzi and 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 we have met the rest of them. We even talked to the UXM boys, you know, and all mm. that. Okay, now to answer this question. Okay, I did ask Zuhairi a few years ago when we first started. I said, "Do you think that we are coming across as?" Um, proud because we are like on our own journey and we don't feature anyone we don't do any collaborations whatsoever but then like for us it's very hard because number one the type of content that we do is very specific you see um it is not it's not something that we can just get someone else to come in and and, and do something you know it's very specific it is very heavy on bone beda and matama you know and these are the two people that really drive the show together because it is a sketch show you know and it's okay for us to have any other new people to come in, but we are really afraid that we might put the the whole humor factor, you know. Because we realize our humor is a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no, no, no. I understand. Yeah. Understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then and some more. Usually when we do videos, it's always like a last minute kind of thing. Like, hey, we are, uh, uh, both of us are free, so let's do it now. You know okay. that kind of thing. So we don't really. Okay. And you guys have full time jobs. Yeah. yeah. You guys so are not full time, so not exactly. full time YouTubers. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Okay. And. Also, to add on to that, like we brand ourselves not so much as uh, I mean we are YouTubers in that sense, but at the same time, on on the bigger picture, we are entertainers because we do film, we do TV, we do theater, you know, and then we do YouTube, you know. So for us, YouTube is just one of the things that we do, you know. I mean, we don't call ourselves YouTubers. Okay. YouTube is just part of our. You, just, you guys stuff. are creatives. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're creatives. Just creatives. Yeah. I, I like to call myself that because I, uh, yeah, I, I not only really do videos. So you don't limit yourself, you see? Yeah. 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 Whenever <laughs> because but before YouTube, we already did a lot of uh, theater shows and stuff like that. So yeah, so for for us to be called as YouTubers, I think it's not really fair because we are doing other things outside as well. Mm. Yeah. But but yeah, I mean like we 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 have to uh, uh, I mean we have discuss amongst ourselves if we actually should try and work with other people and maybe maybe it will come uh, but, but like it's always been a discussion la. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always never discussing been la, yeah, that always <laughs> discussing <laughs> la, yeah. like, like Malay people la, they, no, no. They, they talk first and they honest, <laughs> do yeah. later to be quite honest it is it is number one very daunting to to ask them like hey would you want to do this with us you know and B uh, what can we offer them? Because we do not want to shortchange them also. You see, if we want them to be doing something on our show, we want it to be something quite, like they can contribute something and they don't just sit there and then just do nothing and just look pretty and then call it a day. You know, then there's not, there's not a collaboration. It's just like... I can think of one, you know, like Dikosh has a makcik persona. Perhaps you, you guys can, you know, work something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The whole makcik thing has been heavily debated because 
because I think a lot of people were saying at one point of time well, that there's a lot of matchics and there was there is a matchik video I think that video was was being made and produced by Munah Rizi I think they featured us and then they featured Hubab and then they featured Lukman and then they featured Shazon Yunus and all so if, if anyone wants to work together and okay. all that, yeah, we, if the stars align yeah, if yeah, the stars align you guys don't mind for collaborations, okay. so there's yeah. no bad blood or whatever no 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 no, 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 okay, no. no don't have <laughs> we are all very um, no, but to be, to be quite honest really we are, we are just really busy doing our own things you see mm. yeah so and some of these kind of collaborations we really have to look into the other party see whether they can complement us because we have to complement each other it's not about like overshadowing each other it's a two way street it's not yeah, the case. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk about your full-time job. <laughs> not really full-time job lah. Day job lah, day job. You work at Sentosa? Ah, yes, yes. Can you tell us more about your occupation? I'm an uh, artist manager at a particular attraction at Sentosa. So, just managing the talents. and Something like SM also lah, stage manager also lah. Just to make sure the, the show runs every time. And make sure that there's cast acting perform for that show. And of course, taking care of the welfare of my of the talents as well. So you're a babysitter lah, basically. Babysitter lah, yeah. <laughs> but the old people lah. For old people. <laughs> Babysitting old people. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, what about you? You are a teacher? Yeah, I teach. I teach drama and I teach lit. So what I do is, I go to schools and I do outreach programs. And I also manage CCAs. So... So yeah, so a lot, a lot, a lot of students actually come, like, they get very shocked whenever they see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, 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 do, they do, they do, they do, they do, And sometimes it goes, <laughs> it can always go two ways. It can either go in a very positive manner, or it can just become a total nightmare. Total nightmare would mean like they start calling you like Buddha Bida, like in full view of everyone during assembly. So any particular experience that you want to share? Yeah. Okay. So okay. So basically, like what what happened was uh, me and Zohairi on top of like for myself teaching and on top of managing talents we also do school assembly shows okay so that is also our bread and butter and we enjoy doing school assembly shows because number one it always happens in early in the morning so we always have time to do other things in the afternoon so there was once Zohari and I were performing I don't remember which school was this and the two of us were very shocked because we couldn't even listen to ourselves talking to one another on stage because the students below were just screaming like Bona beda mak tema Eh bona beda mak tema So I thought that was It was nice lah But I would imagine that it's, it's a nightmare for the teachers lah We'd be like Who are these kids And why are they like uh, Out like, of control Out of control <laughs> But most of the kids, time yeah. It's a very pleasant experience lah Because they're very sweet lah, you know, sometimes after the show and then you can see like a group of teachers at the backstage like, hey, can we take yeah. a picture? Yeah, even, yeah. So yeah. even <laughs> teachers, because normally they say students cannot bring handphone, right? So it's always the teachers coming like backstage. Ah, hi, my friends and I would like to take a photo with you. Or like they even get the students like, yeah, yeah, my yeah. students yeah. want to take photo, can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we, we're obligated to do it lah, you know? Yeah. Any particular episodes that you guys have enjoyed doing the most? <laughs> Enjoy. The one that takes the least work is the most enjoyable. <laughs> Always. Who does the editing? Ah, okay. If it's normal, uh, regular day-to-day videos, usually we do our own editing, mm. and it's so it's very guerrilla style. But if it's a client video, if it's supposed to be a video that's being paid, we engage uh, someone else. Yeah, so we would normally engage. Uh. Correct, correct. The video that we enjoyed the most, a lot lah, a lot. Actually, I we really had fun yeah. doing all the videos. Th- uh, like we laugh while doing correct, the video. There's a lot of bloopers. Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of positivity. But which is the most, eh? That I like. Okay, I, for me, I like the most was um, the politicians one. Okay, like okay. one and one ways to to garner votes. To garner votes. I think that was during the that election funny last because you always yeah. there's a lot of takes because I always have to laugh because of his stupid face. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, actually, right? Actually, I enjoy doing videos, but I must say that there's a certain type of enjoyment when I do live shows as Benjamin Matama. Yeah, so when we do it live with an audience, with a responsive crowd, yeah, I think that's when we really enjoy it because you know that because the reactions are instantaneous, you see? So like they, they just respond to you. And I, the I things like that, that we like to do live shows as Bunda Beda Mak Tama is that like there's no boundaries to it despite the fact that sometimes clients are like, okay, you know, try to keep it like this, like this. PG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the moment we are on stage and, and the, the moment, moment we, are we are in that on costume, the audience you know? energy, yeah, yeah we're in that costume, Sometimes we just don't care, lah. Yeah, don't care. And then like the we don't really mem- follow line by line. So there's a, a lot of ad libs, a lot of um, spontaneous uh, acting. L- acting. So 
It's fun lah, it's fun. I tell you what's my favorite episode. I like the Be- Bella, the Bella. one that oh, the, the, okay, okay, the, got it. The product, the one, oh. one, 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 It's a sarcastic video, but but at the same time, it's very sincere. Right. You know, so it, you are treading the line between sincerity and sarcasm. Mm. So it's it's very it's very funny how you the facial expression. Mm. You sell an iron mm. and you sell a what oil and all that. Yeah, yeah. I can see that some of those are really on the spot because like you yeah, are yeah. trying to control your laughter. <laughs> you like you know faster stop the take because I want to laugh. Yeah. Okay. Doing the videos or, or when you can writing the jokes and all that. Mm, mm, mm. Are you guys afraid that you guys are treading borderline racism? Mm, okay. Ah, yes. 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 All the time. <laughs> But we always time. make sure that we always tell ourselves um, we we have to be safe because we cannot touch things on a religion or race uh, or disability whatsoever. And those are the things that's like no no for us. You know. Because Singaporeans um, are very sensitive. You know, like no, yeah, it, yeah, incredibly sensitive. No, no, in fact, not even Singaporeans. Like everyone now. You know, like mm. we live in a time where you cannot say anything about anyone. There's always a picket fence somewhere for something. So for us. Okay, now this is how we get away with a lot of things. Number one is, you cannot take these things. You cannot take the subject matter into a very serious manner. Okay, uh, the first thing is you have to do it touch and go. You cannot just sit and then dwell on it and talk about it over and over and over again. It needs to be touch and go. Number two, it needs to be really harmless and fun. And number three, you cannot victimize any party, regardless of whether it's the oppressor or the one who's being oppressed. So when you don't take sides, you see, it's very easy to really thread on. Get that, away. That, 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 yeah, get away with it. So that's how we do it, you know. And making fun of ourselves also actually is yeah. a very good tactic, lah. Correct. Because correct. like they know, oh, okay, they not only making fun of other people, they also making fun of themselves. So it's like a everybody, fair square yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. So every, everybody gets everybody get lumbers. So every everybody gets uh gets yeah. That being said, have you guys ever gotten any negative? Backlash. Of yeah, course. yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Of course. I think primarily it's because number one, number one, the Malay communities as such. I think the cross dressing thing is basically the only thing that people always talk about. No wearing tudung and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, wear, yeah, you yeah. wear your uh, tudung uh, with a songko. Yeah, exactly. But Who wear tudung with songko? Why, why so is we're actually not trying to be like a woman. We're just making fun of everything. Yeah. I think But the, don't thing, get it the thing that in any small capacity that we are able to do, we always tell people, you know, number one, when you see us, you know it's two men. You don't see two men trying, trying to, be, to a be a woman. woman. We you don't know have it's two men. You know it's two men. We don't, have we, don't, we don't put oranges inside uh, on our chairs. We don't wear makeup. We don't wear jewelry. You know, there is not a hint of femininity in whatever we are trying to showcase. It's literally me putting on a baju butterfly and a, and a tudung. Sense makeup, nothing. You see, it works because the things that we say is really, really what mothers would say. You know, but other than that, there is nothing. We we don't we don't make any effort to conceal our masculinity at all. You see, we used to be very offended when people say, "Hey, why you guys like to like you know dress up as women? Isn't it harm and all that?" And we like when we first started getting yeah, that kind of comments, know? lah. Yeah. But after a while, that we just like you know, I think we we. This is a job. We are acting. You know, stick to if, your guns. If you are, if you are acting as a drunkard, are you a drunkard in real life? You know, it's in fact, it's, we actually like, ask an expert hmm. with with regards to this matter. Who's, who's the expert? Okay, we shall not mention the names, but he's a uh, ustad lah okay. in Singapore lah. So that time he actually engaged us for a particular show. So basically, we are very worried We're very because worried. like, you sure you want us to be part of that particular show? Yeah, because it is it is a Muslim centric event, and mm. we want to want to be there at to perform. So Correct. we're like, a. Yeah, a yeah. number one, we're not afraid for ourselves. We're afraid for you and your company, you know, and who you represent because we do not wish to do that for you. And he says it's fine. It's it's acting, you know. If this is the way we can get the Malay community to wake up and understand whatever is happening in society, then please go ahead and do it. I don't see you guys gallivanting on stage doing things that's really like you know you don't you don't expose skin. You don't ex you you don't you don't like really like say like vulgar words on on stage. It's always very suggestive. It is always touch and go, and, and and it's always done with a lot of dignity and a lot of uh, humor. So he says, I don't see any reason in that, and that's when he gave us this um, this comparison. Like, if you were to ask someone, you know, to ask an actor, you know, who who perform, uh, who who acted as as a drunkard is, but does he drink in real life? You know, he doesn't. You see, it's all acting. So yeah. How are you guys inspired to get into character? Is that like inspired from your mums or? Like it does your mom? We are quite close with our mothers, so yeah. so I think the character is really like uh, relatable. 
to mm. us. I think this is really a, a reflection of whatever we've been uh, we've been observing for the past years. Yeah. So the character Bonnie Benda Mak Tema is actually like uh, stereotypical our, yes. Malay mum. Okay. So um as years goes on you guys start to get notoriety and popularity. You guys start to get sponsors and all that, right? Mm. But I see that they give you a lot of creative freedom like for example like the Burger King, is that? Because that's our terms and conditions. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. always tell this okay, you have to understand that we do not want to fall into that trap of being that social media influencer who just do everything that is given to them. You know, promo code. Promo. You know, this is my promo code. Do this, do this, do this. And we're very. If, if you notice, we're very selective with what we pick and do. When we first started out, yes. When we first started out, we we do small enterprises because we get and, excited and we get excited. But but you know, after a while, we have to understand that we cannot shortchange ourselves. Number one, because we work hard. Uh, for whatever we to we, build we, the we, we produce and and also for the brand and we want to give the best for, for the client and we've been very selective of what we go on to do and what we we wish to promote for whichever client who comes forward. Clients are always like, okay, we want you to do this, 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 this. So please do this, you know. But for us, it's always very different. We always tell clients, what do you want to achieve? We'll give you different scenarios. So we'll give you different things. You choose what you want. So in that way, both parties uh, win-win are situation. able to win from this situation, you know, because we get to do whatever we want to do, and they get uh, their objectives. And met. we can understand our audience better because they are using, they are tapping on our media, right? right? So we are can understand better. So that's why we explain to them like it's better if you leave the creativity side on us to us. Yeah. We are, we never want things to be always forced for me. Yeah, as as what have you said, it's a selective process. Uh, when it comes to client, we don't do all kinds of clients. You know, it has to go through a several criteria, and then we will accept the job. It's, it's good like you guys are not sellouts. Like yeah. you, you guys uh, really stick to your guns, hold on to your brand. The lure of doing everything at once is very, very huge. But yeah, like, we cannot. Like, we, we cannot. Because if, if we do that, because once you sell yourself out, then everyone want to go through you and then you'll find yourself having no time to do your own things. Because you're just busy doing promoting other people's things. And that's what happens with a lot, a lot of other social media influencers. Now you just go to the Instagram feed, it's just Promos, 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 yeah. promos, and then you're like, I don't see what I fell in love with you for anymore. You see, so we don't want that. Yeah, mm, interesting. Essentially, what are your future plans? Is there any anything that you feel like the channel lacks, or some flavor that you guys want to add to the channel? Maybe like a third candidate. Have you guys ever thought of like a Pachi or maybe you know? I don't know. For me, I haven't thought of that. Never thought of that. Yeah, we're very like selfish, ah. Uh. Sorry, yeah, uh, we're very share. selfish. So need to <laughs> no, 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 no. We it's not that we don't want to share. We we have thought about like, hey, we should introduce new characters, and then we always tell ourselves, but well, we can act out with those characters, what? And then we're like, oh, you know what? Yeah, why not? So we always it's always like the two of us. And you guys said before, before it's like the time and place <laughs> and all that also. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just to get the two of our schedules in line together to do something is really a nightmare. Can you imagine if we have like a, a another two, two, a third person? We'll never get things done. And also, we don't think that, that we'll be able to share the same dynamics if we have a third person inside, you know? It's very it's very hard. Actually, that's one of the reasons why I want to do this podcast by myself. <laughs> because oh. I, if yeah, I had exactly, to exactly wait... Exactly right, yeah. If I had to wait for a cameraman or like, you yeah. know... Yeah. We never get things done. I try to keep things more minimalistic, exactly, exactly. you know, and all that. True, true. Okay, and you guys live very near together? Yeah. yeah. And usually the scenes are all acted out in your own houses. <laughs> So we first started out doing it at either my place or Zuhairi's place and then we went to my cousin's place and then we went to our friend's place and then now we're back at Zuhairi's place. So we, we, we travel around, la. whichever, la, whichever, yeah. whichever. Whichever is convenient and we just going to yeah, do it. Yeah, really whichever is convenient. How do your parents receive the news? The more popular you get, did your mom's friends um, tell her about your my YouTube mom, channel? My mom, weirdly enough, I think she loves, I think she doesn't want to tell me but I think she loves attention. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't want to. She doesn't. Does want to say it, lah. You know, it's just a very ego, ego thing, lah. But like, she loves attention, and she's very proud. But she, did she, she did tell you, ah. Yeah, yeah, she's very proud. proud. She and she's very proud because she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my son, blah, blah, blah. And and I think, I am very happy, and also contented with whatever I'm doing because. Regardless of whatever I'm doing on social media, right? Whether I'm dressing up as a machi or or or, or as uh, Shasha or whatever. Or as Kiki, and I think this is the reason why Lipat One Corner has sustained so long. Is because it's always with the blessings of our parents. You know, we always do things putting our family name on the line. 
uh, and into consideration. Whenever we want to do something, we always tell ourselves, do you think our family will be able to, to approve to of this? Go to a kenduri or something. We love our parents so much that sometimes when we want to do things, you don't want to hurt them. You yeah. want to them to be ashamed. Yeah, yeah. You know, we want them to be able to go somewhere and when people say, "Hey, an uncle, what ni? Your son does this," and they're like, "Yeah, that's my son." Blah blah blah. And people actually really come up to them and enjoy and praise them about whatever we've been doing. So we've been very thankful. So you will never see us do things or outside that is like for the sake of shocking the community whatsoever. You know, it's never never about that because number one, that's not our style, and number two. At the end of the day, regardless of whatever people say about being individualistic or or being true to yourself, at the end of the day, really, you always bring your family's name with you wherever you go, you know, and you have to protect it whatever cost, you know. So so yeah, that's why we we try ourselves to not do things that sometimes you also feel like we want to do, but. Yeah, after much consideration, we're like, maybe we shouldn't do this, you know, kind of thing. It's a bit too crossing the line. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we have boundaries, lah. Has there been any ideas that you felt like would cross the line? Not ideas, lah, jokes, lah. There's been a lot of occasions where, like, you film already. I and, and so Harry will yeah. like we'll, we'll talk about it, and after, after that we will just, hey, just go back. Delete, 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 delete. I don't think we should use that. I think we, yeah. we skip that part. Ah, we. You know, sometimes we really had fun. We sometimes we can uh, yeah, spur the yeah, moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it gets really. Maybe to others it's harmless, but to us because it it holds a certain meaning. So we like you know what? Yeah, just delete it. Uh, and someone out out there like a lot of people are trying to like find fault. So yeah, we yeah. shall not. What about your parents? How did they receive the news? I'm very lucky that actually my my mother she was very okay with it because at that point of time she's she's actually okay with me doing all this performing already. Back then when I first started doing this freelance performing, she wasn't really supportive, but at the same time she wasn't really against it. She just like you no know, keep nasihat lah, keep advising me like, eh, you know, find a full time job, you know, blah blah blah, find a proper job. Uh, she called this a a a, a play a play job you because know? back then the older generations cannot comprehend the fact that this sort of thing could have made money. Mm, you know? Exactly. And they, they 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 wouldn't have thought that this would be a sustainable uh, occupation. Yeah, you know that's why. True, true, yeah. true. So I think we just have to prove it to them lah. So as the months goes by, the years goes by, I got a lot of projects coming in, and then like uh, I contribute to the to the uh, family income, you know, and she sees that, and then she was like, oh okay, so basically you can sustain. They, like you can support yourself with this and then now she's very supportive and then when she found out that I'm doing these YouTube videos with Hafiz she was supportive surprisingly and then like after a while people come to her and say hey your, your son is doing this and stuff like that she, she yeah as, as what like uh, Hafiz's mom lah. she's very proud lah. I think also adding to the part about doing YouTube or doing this is, is like a play play thing you know I think we foresee the longevity or lack of it, that's why we always tell ourselves, regardless of whatever happens, we need to have a day job. You know, regardless of what happens, we need to have something, something to always fall, fall back, back on. Behind, you know, yeah. we have to be very, very responsible, not only for ourselves but to the people that we are supporting. And it might seem like a grand idea to just be doing YouTube as a full-time job, and it can get you money. But ten years down the road, you might not be the it person anymore. You know, and you need to be doing something else. That's why we're very lucky, lah, because we've never come across the point of time where we like. You know, even if we stop doing this, what's going to happen to our life, you know? Because yeah. once you guys get yeah, married yeah, and then yeah. the dynamic change and all that. But, of course, uh, after saying that, of course, Lepak Wong Corner is here to stay lah. You know, we will try our best to to try and, 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 and milk this vehicle as much as we possibly can. Speaking of Lepak One Corner, I'm mm. surprised that you guys have no Instagram page for that. Like, or is it you guys... Oh there's so god. much to there's handle. So many things. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Because we have our own Twitter account, we have our individual Instagram account, Facebook account, and we have our and YouTube. Then we have YouTube account. We have our Facebook page, and then we have our emails, our own emails. I mean, I have a few emails, and then we have the yeah, Hong Kong email. email. We have our own professional so there's email. a we lot email. to manage. So it's like, uh, never mind lah. For Instagram, you just go to our individual Instagram, and it's, and it's our, and it's a two-man job. Really, it's just a two-man yeah. team, you know. Um, we really f- want to like get someone else to help us, and we have had uh, some help here and there, but it's just really like too much, uh. But if you all must know, we actually have a fan page, you know. Yeah. Um. Uh, so for Lepak One Corner, they can they, go if there. You all like Lepak One Corner, lah. That's a okay, BBMT. Promote, 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 promote. <laughs> <laughs> you go to run by at some BBMTFC. It's, it's run. Please don't laugh, okay? 
please, okay? They are legit people who actually love us. Yes. And, like, and we love them. Mm. Legit, legit yeah. fans. Like, legit fans. Like BBMTFC, we love you guys. Yeah, BBMTFC. <laughs> so, it's called BBMTFC. Uh. BBMT means Bode Beda Mak Tema, FC. So, FC. it's on Instagram. And they're doing quite well. Uh. They've been very... They are a very good stalker. They are... Ex- they yeah. are Sometimes they know expert stalkers. Sometimes they know things that we don't know, you know, like yeah. they know of of gigs that we don't even know we're doing yeah. yet. So, so actually, we, they can people can actually use that uh, Instagram account to actually follow us like closely. Yeah, and, and 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 for those of you who like to get get through us, if you if you cannot get through us from our uh, personal IG whatsoever, because trust us. We sometimes really don't have the time to check all the in, uh, yeah. emails. You can really just go to PBMTFC, and they will n- normally alert us yeah. on our own personal WhatsApp Correct. whatsoever. So yeah. So sometimes we don't really reply to people's DM. It's it's just because there's a lot. Let's stray away from the channel a bit. Okay. Uh, let's okay. talk about current affairs. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> what do you think about Singapore these days? I know because you, you, I mean, you guys are normal human beings living in Singapore. Mm. I want to know, in in your positions, what are your frustrations in Singapore? Mm. For me personally, I don't really, I don't like to whine. I'm a very positive-minded person. Mm. PMA, nice. Yes, correct. And I'm really, really glad that I actually live in Singapore. Given the chance to complain, of course, I there's a lot of things to complain. But again, like compare yourself in Singapore and compare to other people in other countries. Mm. Singapore is so much better. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like I really don't have understand yeah. why people have to complain too much about the MRTs, about this and about that. Like, okay, fine, MRT easily break down. There's other modes of transportation you can use. Just use it, you know. Like in other countries, you don't get that fast. You don't expect train to come every five minutes or every three minutes. You don't. You don't get that. And then in Singapore, in Singapore, fast. trains come every one minute actually. Yeah. Or during peak hours is a one minute interval. So it's like how how much faster you want the train to go? Correct. Like twenty seconds, you know something like. And then okay, you want the train to be fast, all right? Fine. They had it like every five minutes, and then like recent incident, I think there's a there's a collision. Collision, because like they are, they are still close together, right? And people complain about that too. So it's like um yeah. okay um, lah, it's hard lah to please everyone. Yeah, I guess. If you really think about it, we we have it good here lah. The only gripe, but I think this goes on to any other major uh, cities around the world. It's the cost of living lah. Mm. Other than that, I really think if you really take a look at what's happening in other societies, you know, you should be really thankful that you're in Singapore because you are very safe and all that. Yeah. yeah. Recently, there was a shooting in uh, in a in exactly. school. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So like yeah. You can never have that kind of you know, and you cannot tell yourself. But Singapore is so boring. There's nothing to do. I'm like, but you make the best of what you do, lah. You make you make the best of it. You know, everyone's on social media. You know how to have fun. You know, you know where to go to have fun. So go and have fun. But at the end of the day, if you want security. If you want balance, if you want efficiency, you come back home, and this is what your home, lah. Yeah. You know, so I mean, yeah, correct. If if you want fun and you you think that Singapore is boring, then go overseas for a while and then come back after that. <laughs> yeah, it's balance, lah. It's just all about balance. So I don't have anything negative to say about living in Singapore. It's just expensive, lah. It's just expensive, lah. <laughs> la. Yeah, yeah. It's just the cost of living. Other than that, everything is okay, lah. Yeah. Also because I don't take public transportation now, uh, which is a very bad thing. Uh, I should stop grabbing. I I want my thing. 80 cent prata. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh yeah. Like, what, what happened to the prata? Uh? Like you. Yeah, 80 cent prata you is know, like. You know, I went to Lao Pasar and I ordered a prata egg. It was five bucks. Huh? Lao Pasar five is, bucks. is no Lao Pasar is. Yeah, but it, I mean it's like Sentosa. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like fair yeah. enough, like it was huge. But then you know, five dollars for it's like satay. Prata. Like one stick of satay, is how much? At Lao Pasar, ninety cents, eighty cents. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Insane. Too much. Cannot lah. Yeah. Cannot. Okay. What about YouTubers in, around the world? Are you guys fans of you know Logan Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul or no? I'm YouTubers around the world lah. Okay, when you guys go to YouTube, mm. who do you, what do you guys watch? Ha. Okay. Anime or this I watch Wendy I- Williams. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Okay, no, okay, no, but no. she's not a YouTuber. Okay, if YouTuber, I I like Superwoman. She's a YouTuber. She's a famous. Lily Singh, Lily Singh. She's a yeah. Oh, Lily Singh. Uh, I know Superwoman, Lily Singh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and yeah. then uh, Miranda Sings. Oh, Miranda, yeah, yeah. I love all the things. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> all the things. Um, <laughs> when I go on YouTube. 80% of the time, it's not to watch other YouTubers. But on the 20% of the time when I watch, I will find myself watching uh, Memory Heart. So I think she's hilarious, ah. Uh. She so so what what she does is she does uh, drinks and then like she has all these puns with with other YouTubers. So she's she's funny. I like Memory Heart and I watch Buzzfeed videos, ah. Uh. 
Yeah, that's 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 basically the whole thing. And the eighty percent of the time, I just watch like Bollywood and <laughs> like RuPaul's Drag Race, ah, so yeah. whatever, lah. Yeah. yeah, and for me, eighty percent of the time, I watch K-pop. K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> he is he is a K-pop fan, ah, for yeah. some weird reason. Big Big Bang. Or oh no no, I love God, God Seven. Seven. Okay. <laughs> have yeah. they, have, he knows me. <laughs> have they? Um, he's no, he's have they been well. to Singapore? Oh, they soon, soon they come back. They come to Singapore soon. Okay. And I will go. The, the <laughs> most expensive ticket. Maybe. Thousand dollar. Maybe. No lah. Maybe it's expensive for thousand. No lah. Cannot be thousand. What? There's uh, definitely a meet and greet kind of thing. So I don't know. If you want you to be angry, lah. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? But what, what what is it about K-pop bands that appeal to you? Is it the music? The energy? oh yeah, the music. And I think they they have swag, lah. Okay. I like it. They, okay. they had the swag. You're, you're a very, very performance oriented person. So that's why yes. you are managing talent. Yeah, actually, I wanted to become a teacher, like since young. Like since young, I want to become a teacher. But then, um, but I, I always like to dance. I like to sing. I like to do all this. But I never thought that it's gonna be a career. So after I ORD, then I I I went for auditions, and then I went for audition after another audition and audition, and I got in. And then after that, I realized, like, hey, my schedule is very packed with a lot of things. And like after that, I realized, eh, hey, I actually made a lot of money <laughs> out of this. And so now it has been like almost eight years already in this industry. And I like, okay, that's good. What is your favorite food? If you see me at Pasta Minya, the only thing I'll order is the aglio olio. I'm a creature of habit. Pasta fan. I mean, not not so much of a pasta. Uh, okay, you, I mean, you order the same thing. Every I time order you the same thing wherever I go. Like if, if I'm you, pretty much the same. Yeah, if you go to Spice, I'll order like pataya, maggi <laughs> goreng. You know what's the funny part? Sometimes I end up looking out at the menu for ten minutes. Yeah, I know. But you're thinking, like, or should I get something else? Exactly. And then Indian, ah oh, shit, I just, yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. get the same thing. I will order the same thing. If I go to like Tang Tea House, it's always pan fried chicken dumpling or, or like you know, yeah, whatever. <laughs> for okay. me, it depends huh, on my mood. I'm a foodie. I tend to want to. Try other things. Zuhairi is very adventurous. He has, he's got a very adventurous palette. For me, no. Like I am very kampung. <laughs> yeah, he's I, a boring person. I am a very boring person when I go when traveling to outside. Like you go to Indonesia and then people like tell you, "Hey, why don't you eat like lidah, uh, lembu or gudeg, whatever?" And I'm like, the only thing I'm gonna eat here is nasi padang and that's it. But then Zuhairi is like, "Dude, you can get nasi padang anywhere." But like, no, 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 no. no. We are not doing anything yeah, else. We went we all not, the way there. We are not in it, eating anything else except for. You just want nasi padang. Nasi padang. Go back Singapore lah. Eat nasi padang. My friend who who was in Malaysia and then the guy asked, hey, "You want tiger meat or tiger meat?" <laughs> Serious? <laughs> What's Malaysia. That? Malaysia. No lah, but it's definitely not tiger meat lah. You or tiger prob- meat. probably. Like some cat which died around oh the road, God. and like the the person cut the meat. Ah, it's not tiger meat. Ah, oh, you want to get tiger meat? You know, it's I'm true, not true. that adventurous, lah. Yeah. I won't go there, lah. <laughs> but like, but like, yeah. But like Zuhairi will, will like eat like like if you give him like okay, this is like. Any type of cheese he will eat, or like any type of chocolate he will eat. Like Cambodia, even like things, even Cambodia. things like not it, yeah? not f- not yeah. cooked, he will eat. Like for me, like no, this is where I draw the line between. You don't like, eat sushi, do you? No, I don't. You don't. No. You like sushi? Okay. Yeah, I'm a very very bad. No lah, no lah. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. No, I mean, no sushi. If I go to sake sushi or if I go to wherever, right? K sushi. Tempura. Mm. Okay. Or like sushi, but like inside is cooked lah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you don't like you cannot eat raw raw food, is no, it? No, 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 no. Okay, never have, right. never will. What about favorite movies? Oh, I like horror movies. You like horror movies a lot? Yes, I love horror movies. I love epic movies and those magical themed movies like uh, Harry Potter, Lot of the Rings, all those magical things. Star oh, Wars. I love it. No, Star Wars. Apparently, <laughs> no. I don't know why. Are they magic? They are not, right? They <laughs> sci-fi, right? That's yeah, I don't like sci-fi. The Force, what? The Force is. <laughs> I don't no, know. but I don't it's a sci-fi it's thing, isn't sci-fi, it? Yeah. yeah so, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to Star Wars fans. Oh God! Uh, <coughs> who's your favorite actor? Actor or actress? You know, whatever. Malay or no, no, the, no, no, any, anyone, <laughs> any, anyone. Actor, actor. I love Siti Nohaiza, though. By the way. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love Zayn Azin. Oh, I, I, oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a running thing for no, my, no, for my podcast. Is okay, okay, but Because like, when she tarik her voice, oh, yeah. Zohairi <laughs> is like. Okay lah, I wouldn't say he's the biggest Sitonariza fan in Singapore because I've seen some. Yeah, no, like no, no, I'm not really big. Really but at the peak of his obsession with Sitonariza, like really, like he has actually forced me to buy and waste three hundred dollars <laughs> to watch Sitonariza <laughs> perform in Star Theatre. Oh my god! Sit in the first few front row, and I'm like, what? Why am I doing here? I'm not even a fan. Was why did I waste three hundred dollars to watch? Pre-datuk or post-datuk ke? Post-datuk post ke? Post-datuk ke? And the best part is like City came down and he left me alone. He said, yeah, "You take, take care of my of wallet. Her. You take care of my wallet. I want to go and take photo of her." I, I managed to take video of her, and she looked into my camera. Oh my god! 
I still have it. Nonsense. So anyway, yeah. 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 What about your favorite actor? Or oh, favorite movies first. Favorite movie, yeah. Uh, okay, I like I like a horror movie, but like, yeah. I'm, Annabelle. I'm kampung, ah. Uh, uh, Annabelle. Annabelle. I, 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 I grew shit, up watching. Hmm? <laughs> Annabelle is shitty. Is it really? I find the Conjuring is better. The conjuring, yeah. The, yeah, conjuring, the conjuring, conjuring, yeah, is better. Yeah, yeah. Is better. My favorite movie is anything Bollywood, ah. Uh. The yeah, Bollywood. I'm yeah. a Bollywood fan, ah. Uh. So in terms of, he can see three hours in the cinema, lah. Yeah, I can, I can. Which is okay. I see, ah. Perspective, ah. Uh. For again, people always say, right. Hey, I cannot imagine sitting for three hours inside a movie. But I'm like, Lord of the Rings was three hours, King Kong was three hours. You know, like Avengers. I think Avengers was three hours. Exactly. So what? Yeah, but like they don't sing and dance. But I'm like, <laughs> you watch Chicago and then you watch Greatest Showman, so got sing and dance. What? You all love it, then you but all double standard. Three hours. Okay, lah, whatever lah. La. Oh, to show me, to me, like three hours of. A language that I don't understand. I know that I know there's some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, but, but Bollywood, but, I love but epic Bollywood movies. Yeah, 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 I did follow him like to watch epic Bollywood movies. Yeah. I love it. Give or take yeah, lah. Yeah. You f- he follow you, Siti Nualiza. You yeah, follow yeah, him yeah, yeah, for Bollywood. Yeah, yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Oh, yeah, you guys are really best friends. Uh. I can really see the bond. Yeah, here. yeah. No lah. No, sometimes bondage it's out of force. Like, la, sometimes forcing lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about favorite uh, favorite actor? Actress? Favorite actor. Fatamin. Uh, oh, I love Fatamin. Oh wow. And my favorite actress is Fazura. <laughs> Just to put it out there lah. Fazura. La. Fazura. No. Uh, actress lah. <laughs> actress. Not that you put me on the spot lah. Like of all time, is it like across all gen- genre? Is it? But okay, in your Instagram, which celebrity that you are always liking the photo? Oh, I don't like celebrities <laughs> photo. <laughs> I don't see <laughs> them. <laughs> But yeah, I stalked um, it's, 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 K-pop. It's nice how you get like Instagram stories now, and then you can see what the celebrities are doing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sometimes yeah, they yeah. are like you know in the toilet lah, don't know, and they take videos like, like what? The oh, hell? in the toilet? God lah. No, it's just it's like Snapchat or <laughs> <laughs> it's what? Which which what style? <laughs> which celebrity watching, following? Ah? Eh? What celebrity watching? Ah? No lah, I'm saying like it, they they take a lot of spontaneous <laughs> random moments, which you know oh. is sometimes like very weird lah. Like ah, uh, for me it's more of K-pop and uh Thai, Thai okay. actress, actress, okay. actress and actress. Yeah, I'm just looking through my Instagram now. Who I follow? I follow Tyra Banks last, yeah. Tyra Banks. I follow Zayn Azin. She's still around. How's her forehead, lah? Tyra Banks. Um, still, still um, big, lah. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain things you cannot change, yeah. Okay. But you know, they say right, people with big forehead actually very bright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, la, because he also has a big forehead. Yeah, my forehead is huge, lah. People call me Lohan when I was. So biased, lah. This this kind of uh, yeah. statement is biased. Yeah lah, yeah, I don't follow celebrities lah. Okay, no, no, it's okay. I follow, Terrible I follow Tuan Muda Brunei though. Oh, <laughs> why? I don't know. I think he's he's very swag. Does he like show off his luxurious cars and no, all? No, no, he doesn't. He's very followers there. Very humble. Huh? Banyak followers there. Followers there. Seven seven six k. Seven seven six k. Wow. Se- oh, yeah. that's almost just by one, posing, ah. Uh? Almost uh, a million, though. Yeah. Alright, okay, so we're gonna ride off to the sunset with the podcast. Can you guys share something, something for Singaporeans to take away? Maybe Singaporeans YouTubers who are starting their own brand, starting their own products. <laughs> for Singapore, for Singaporeans, don't complain a lot lah. Yeah lah, really for Singaporeans, don't complain lah. So yeah, you just count your blessings yes, lah. Yes, you know? important count your blessings. Don't complain too much. Yeah, you always, yeah, always. L- the grass is always greener on the other side, but like, uh, is the grass even grass unless you color blind lah? Then something else lah. Okay, so for for Singaporean YouTubers or for those uh, <laughs> Singaporean YouTubers, you sure ah? You want to give advice to them? <laughs> Not the current one lah. Those who want to start up. Uh, actually, lah, like, yeah, we we don't do this lah, cause everybody's on their own journey. But like, f- uh, the set advice that I would give for young people who wants to pursue fame, go pursue pursue fame, eh? Know your worth. Now, if you are going to pursue fame, that's a wrong move right there. Eh, yes. That's a red flag. You should never do that. You should always tell yourselves. I want to share with the world what I have, you know. I feel like I have a certain f- form of talent and be true to yourself. Co- like I said, content is king. Always be humble. And number four, always remember whatever happens, you always represent your family's name. Yeah. I sound like a mother, but that's because I've been playing this role for the past that's four years. you are, bro. Yeah, and, man. And don't take all jobs or all offers yeah. from clients. Please be picky, okay? Correct. You know, uh, we follow these people, you know. And like we enjoy what they do, but then after a while, uh, you just go like, "Hey, I'm." This is like a walking advert, a walking billboard. You know, like, yeah, don't, don't, don't be greedy, lah, huh? And it's very annoying because it's like, uh, one moment, like, oh, I'm promoting this skincare product. It's really good. It gives your face flawless and stuff like that. And then the next moment, you have another brand of another skincare, skincare products, brand. and then he he was like promoting it. it was like, so which one is which one? <laughs> which one you, you know, represent? You get you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like mm. right. okay. 
Yeah, itu je. Okay lah. Be it. humble and enjoy whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah, just enjoy. Yeah, never complain whatever you're doing. Yes. Just, yeah. Shout out to Siti Nualiza. Shout out to. Yeah, Datuk Siti. Tuti Tuti. Who's that? 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 Who All my past students and my <laughs> future students who be taught by me, uh, I hope you enjoy my classes. Okay, and they can find you at. They can find me at a son of a peach. Okay, a lot of people say like, why is it a son of a peach? It's because I cannot use the word a son of a. Ah, uh, so I use a son of a peach. A S O N O F P E A C H. So follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. That's For those like, of you, who you don't like actually like peach lah. The fruit. Oh, no no no, I'm I'm okay ah. Peach, peach is nice okay ah. Yeah. What, um, what about uh, and you are at Zuhairi? Oh yeah, and uh, you can um, follow me at uh, Instagram and Twitter at Zuhairi Z U H A I R I underscore Idris I D R I S. Okay. Yeah. Right, and you can follow us at Lepak Wangkonya. Yeah. Oh, this is basically this is on YouTube and Facebook lah. So for those of you who have yet to follow, just follow just us lah. Just slash Lepak Wangkonya Kennedy. The corner is with the K, not the C. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why is that with the K? Uh, it's just a it's, random. It's a <laughs> subliminal message. Okay. <laughs> If someone get it, put <laughs> lepa one corner in one word in the middle. It spells out something else. Yeah, that's for L- you to find L- out. L O C. I don't no. think you should try to spell it. <laughs> L- you want to spell it now? L O C. L O C. No, 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 no. In, in the middle. Lepa one they corner. Spell, 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 one corner. In one whole thing. L E P A K O N E C O R. No, not C K. K O oh ah. okay 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 got it got it oh, okay, it's a okay. subliminal message actually that's okay. why make us popular <laughs> lah huh? subliminal yeah, message yeah, sub- some call like ah uh, we we are like this Illuminati crap lah <laughs> okay okay <laughs> subliminal message that only Malay people understand yeah okay. actually you know what okay sorry sorry before that okay we don't want to be seen promoting that but we actually didn't know yeah yeah until someone pointed out to us like guys you know that the middle of that thing spells out as I'm like well something to talk about. Okay. All yeah. right. Thank you so much for being in the podcast. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. We wish you all the best, and we wish you you get Datu City for the next podcast. Oh man, oh that'll be awesome. God. Oh, I'll, I'll have please, you. Please mention my name. I have you as a guest. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes, a guest interview. That's good. That's good. She'll oh run down God. from Sentosa just oh to come. She like, can't run lah. She's pregnant now, right? No, no. I'm saying. I'm saying. He'll run down from Sentosa just to be. Oh. Yes. Yes. I will. Podcast. I will definitely. Okay. Thank you so much. Tell me where it is. Bye. Bye.